This video is sponsored by Factor 75. Get fresh, ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep when you sign up with Factor. Their menus are updated weekly. They have seafood, veggie, and keto options if that's what you're looking for. Check my link in the description below and use code FACTORSE10507 for 60% off your first box. All right, guys, Marcus Rogers is really upset with Ethan Klein right now. And let's go ahead and see why that is. But first, let's get into the fan art section. This one is from XLR and said a Nekosurus as a Leaf Chunin from the Naruto franchise. Well, hopefully I don't end up having a brother that kills my entire family in this plot line. The next one we have here, oh my god, this looks fantastic. This one is from Earwig Man. Basic background, but here, finally made some fan art. Well, this looks astoundingly good. I like this. I like the glowy effect on it and everything. This looks really good. Earwig man, you outdid yourself with this. Speaking of people who routinely outdo themselves, though, the last one we have is from Aura Echoes. And finally, had some free time over the holidays, so I finished up this sketch I posted a while back. I couldn't decide between the brown color pattern or the slime pink, so I did both. So we've got the VKS and original outfits, both available on this. And then, of course, slime version both looking fantastic as well. I'm sure there's a Sonic fan out there that's looking at that, realizing that um, they have just unlocked something for the first time. That achievement taken care of. As always, everybody, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop into the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, let's go ahead and get right into the content. Marcus Rogers... What do you have for us today? So let's take a look at this real quick, all right? This is why I preach the way that I do. This is why I speak the way that I do. This is why I will not apologize. I don't care if people feel it's controversial because I see the double standards. Okay. You are allowed to talk like this and speak like this and people hee hee ha and kee 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 and, and, you know, laughing and stuff like that. And kee kee kee. D d does he mean keck? Does he mean keck? and it's posted if this was any other religion it would be national outrage it would be just national outrage this guy would get canceled so you know what man hey is, share this video let's make some outrage that's the problem christians would just be quiet christians be scared of controversy no I, I want all the smoke if i was at the table i would have smacked this dude in his mouth you would so you would have gotten physically violent with him over saying these words oh Marcus, do you have kids? I hope you don't have kids. He would not continue to just talk like that, all right? I would have looked, and I'm like, oh, you're going to keep going? And I would have smacked him. Now, I know that's not the Christian thing. you know. The yeah, it's not. Turning the other creek cheek is the Christian thing. Marcus, if I said something insulting at a table, like, um, oh, I don't know, uh, something along the lines of what Ethan Klein apparently said here, uh, which was besmirching your religion, and your response to me besmirching your religion was to smack me in the face, Marcus, both of us would be going to jail and to the hospital. Because no. Uh, to a lot of you, you're going to judge me and all that kind of stuff. That's probably why God doesn't allow me to be in certain situations like that. Because you know what? Some people, you know, they're able to sit there and just, just look and take it, not me. Like, you, you just disrespecting... I understand that what you're telling us basically is that you lack the ability to can't, to have self-control. This is a tell. You are telling on yourself, Marcus. Jesus, you know what I'm saying? You just disrespected my faith, and I just couldn't sit there and let it continue. Like, somebody would have got slammed. Somebody would have got slapped. You know what I'm saying? Stuff, stuff would have got thrown around because I just don't play. These are words spoken by an adult, a real adult. So check it out. Watch this. Doing my part. So you could sit in your parents' basement and cry about it. Yeah. And I'd do it again. Give me the spear. Uh-oh. I'll you're gonna, do you're it gonna, again. You're going to piss off the weird hysterical nerds, dude. Good. If Jesus was here on a cross, I'd no. swear him. 
<laughs> Hassan looks kind of uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Also, Jesus being speared, that's literally like... That was literally part of his plan, but okay. No, he's not going <laughs> to... That'd be funny if he got banned no, for I'm that. Not gonna get That's an that. insane thing. No, no shot. <laughs> oh, Give me the hammer and the spikes. Well, I'm putting if, it up there. If someone could do it, it's Ethan. He'll find a way. Oh, I'll do it again. Okay. I liked it the first time, and I'll do it again, Nick. 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 Ethan. Hold on a minute. Oh, is there some context to this potentially that's not being uh, that's not being brought up? Marcus Rogers. What Nick are we talking about? Are we talking about a uh, a potential Nick who involves himself in politics and is known to be a very hyper-conservative Christian? Hmm. I wonder if there's some, some context we're missing here. I'm getting on a call with all my Jewish brothers and sisters. There's 30 minutes left. I really want to make Dan proud. Let's... let's... I'm, you know what I'm planning this Christmas? No. Nope. A mock nope. execution. Nope. Nope. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He'd get with all of his Jewish friends. Is there a Nick we know that's potentially an anti-Semite? Marcus, is there context here you're missing? Is, is, is Ethan Klein talking about Nick Fuentes? Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like he's doing this to royal up the Groiper army, and if that's the case, Marcus, maybe you should stay in your lane. This is about this little. This is this is a little beyond you. Mm -mm. Of Jesus Christ, no. Dedicated to <laughs> Nick Fuentes. Yep. 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 It was about Fuentes. Oh my Groip! All the time, it was about Fuentes, Marcus. Marcus, were you unironically about to get up in defense of Nick Fuentes? You're going to smack a hoe over somebody insulting Nick Fuentes. That's what you're going to do. That That's your plan? Oh, oh no. Oh, Marcus. Oh, I've accused you of dumb in the past. I have. I have. I really have. But this time, no, I'm, I'm being serious when I say. And I know this is a static video. I know that because this is a static video, you're not going... To s you can't change what you're going to do in real t in real life. You can't do that. You can't do that. But I hope to God somehow, man, it just just you manage to hear me when I say don't don't walk into this trap. Don't do it. Ethan is trying to troll a Nazi. Just let him do what he's gonna do. Hold up. Let him cook. So the question is, to my fellow believers, you know, I don't care what denomination you're from, how long are we going to let the disrespect continue? I don't know, Marcus. Uh, how long would God let it go on? And uh, does does God have the ability at any point to, to stop it? Mikachu, thank you for redeeming your points for... Ada, ada, you fucking degen. But if, if God has the ability to stop it, you'd think that, that he would, right? Now, you know, my flesh, I would like to find this dude and pull up and see if he has the same energy, you know what I'm saying, face to face. It's funny how, you know, the internet make these people so brave. Now, <clears throat> uh, so on the one hand, I agree with you. One of the reasons people can say stupid things on the internet is because they don't have a risk of being punched in the face. But, um, Marcus, of course people are going to change the way they comport themselves if they think a guy is going to get physically violent with them afterwards. But you know, if you're asking, I would certainly say this all in front of your face. Yes. Perfectly fine doing that. Anyways. Ghostface, thank you for the follow. The truth is, though, that's my flesh. But it's nothing wrong with speaking up. There's nothing wrong with saying, hey, we find that offensive. There's nothing wrong with drawing a line in the sense and saying, hey, don't cross that line. That's not acceptable. Now, awesome. I think sometimes thank you for the follow. people want to get so fake spiritually deep you know that we just let this stuff slide all the time we let it slide. yeah turning the other cheek that's that would that, that would be that would be the christian thing to do yes your god is all powerful therefore he can stop this at any point yes your god planned everything in the cosmos 
therefore Ethan Klein making fun of God was part of his plan. Yes. Lie that they're teaching our kids this this LGBTQ stuff in the schools trying to force them. We let it what? slide when they took the, you know. Wait, wait, wait. We just went out of left field. I thought we were talking about God getting insulted. How did how did the gays come up? Felicia Angel, thank you for redeeming your points for oh well. But also, how did how did we how did we slide into the gays? How did we do that? Ten Commandments out of the schools. When all these different things. Why do the Ten Commandments need to be in the schools? Not every kid in the schools is religious. That they do. Christians just have this thing where, well, I, it's just not my business. It don't affect me. I'm going to let it slide. And that's how we've become Sodom and Gomorrah here in America. We just let stuff like this slide. Oh, we let's just pray about it. No. What does it look like when you don't let it slide, though? Because the way you put it out, it was getting physically violent with people. Oh, let's speak up. Let's make some noise. Let's make some outrage. They, they Marcus, have you been paying attention to American politics for the past 10 years? There has been plenty of outrage against LGBTQ people and LGBTQ things in schools. There has been plenty of outrage. Every single year, some Facebook mom starts a fucking tirade about prayer not being in school anymore. Every fucking year. Marcus, have you not been paying attention? The fact that you're losing doesn't mean your side isn't bitching hard enough. I'm sorry. They, they go throw an LGBTQ parade, right? And I think these guys are all super liberal from what I saw when I downloaded this video. It's Ethan Klein and Hassan! It, it, it... Guys, is Hassan liberal enough for you? What? How did how, it's Ethan and Hassan talking about a Nazi? Marcus, you are so far out of your lane. Oh no. Oh no. And they have a gay Jesus hanging on the cross. We just we just let it slide. They can't do that with any other religion. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. 110%. I'll draw Muhammad on stream. I don't give a shit. You can do that shit with any religion. Andrew Tate says something the other day. Ah, uh, yeah. Wise words from Andrew Tate. Does he know Tate's a Muslim? <clears throat> and a lot of people don't like it. But, you know, there's some truth to what he's saying. He's in... Let, let me put it in context. He said that, you know, well, why would I... He's talking out of his flesh, obviously. But he was saying, why would I want to be a Christian? They don't have no power. He's like, I could walk through America with a, you know, F Jesus Christ shirt or something to that effect, and nothing would happen to me. He said, go try that in a Muslim country. He said, even try to do that with like a F Mohammed shirt in America, and, and you wouldn't survive. Yeah, you would. People do that all the time. Not to the extent that they can do something that says fuck Christianity, because Christianity is so normalized here that criticizing Christianity is also equally normalized. Uh, and there is the issue when it comes to Muslims in the United States that they are a minority in the United States. And therefore, when you throw out something that is saying fuck their religion, then you are now criticizing a minority group in the United States, a group that has less power in the States. Therefore, it's going to be considered less of an okay thing to do where that's concerned. However... Muhammad was a pedophile. He'd married a nine-year. Uh, he married a six-year-old and fucked a nine-year-old. Yes, I am perfectly fine saying that. We can do that shit with other religions, my guy. It, it's a thing we can do. But if you want to wonder why Christianity constantly gets so much of the flack, it is because Christianity is also what people know here in the states, not just overseas. And he was like, oh, Christians don't have no power. Now, I understand, like, he's speaking from a perspective of the flesh, but there is some truth to what he's saying because Christians have become so watered down. You know, oh, it's controversy. I stay away from controversy. I'm not going to speak up. I turn the other cheek. Yeah, I bet you do. The devil got a lot of Christians bent over and, and bowing down and just silent. And sodomized. That's why we got so much nonsense in the church. We got this hippie idea of what Christianity is supposed to be. Now, listen, to be clear, I'm not saying, look, that we need to go fight people and go around and start smacking people. You know what I'm saying? I'm you literally just said that's what you would do, though. Just saying, like, 
you know, <clears throat> if I was sitting there, I'm just being honest. Like, I wouldn't be able to sit at that table and let him continue to be disrespectful like that. I would have spoke up. And then if he would have started laughing and keep going, I would have smacked him. That's just me. I Furafunk says, if anything, Muhammad was a cougar chaser. His only wife was 40 years to sit. Farofunk. Farofunk. How old was Aisha? How old was Aisha? Just, just, just take all the time you need. All the time you need. How old was Aisha when the marrying happened? How old was Aisha when the fucking happened? I'm, I'm sorry. I have only ever one time in my life heard the words you just said. And they are from when you said the words. I know some of y'all going to judge me because you're super perfect. But like I said, that's why God doesn't allow me to be in those kind of situations, you know. So, I mean, the reality is it's crazy out here, man. And I wonder how long Christians are going to tolerate, you know, that disrespect and just not say nothing. And then we're so divided. That's another problem. We're so divided by denominations and, you know, all this Christians fighting so much. You don't even see, like, really too much Muslims, like, on YouTube arguing, fighting with each other like that. But every, like, I'm a real man of God, and you got idiots out there that think I'm some kind of false, you know, teacher or some kind of wolf, like. My guy, every single man of God thinks he's a man of God, and every single other person thinks that man of God is a wolf in sheep's clothing. How many denominations are there for Christianity? Too many to, to say one is true. How many variations of the Bible are there? Too many to say one is true. Marcus, I don't know how many ways I can tell you, but... Whether or not you are the right type of Christian comes down to a dice roll. I love Jesus with everything that's in me, and that and that's the problem with Christianity. I'm out here going hard, you know, for 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 Christianity, speaking out against all this wicked, evil stuff that's going on in America, going on in the world. Like gay people existing, he's at, he's angry that gay people exist. World, and I got these other idiots trying to attack me and discredit me. Yes, you're an idiot. If you can't see that I'm a real man of God, that I love the Lord, though I'm not perfect, you are an idiot. It blows my mind. Like, people attacking me who don't go as hard for the kingdom as me. That's the problem with Christianity. People have no discernment. Uh, people don't have Jesus. They have religion. Whatever religion taught them, whatever tradition taught them. And that's why they're so deceived. That's why they can't see, you know, what's real and what's fake. So we promote the fake and attack the real. Let me tell you something. The realest Christians get the most attacks. And that's a way of saying that uh, the people who get persecuted the most are the ones who are doing the, the Christianity the most right. So, I don't know. I guess the NIFB is the, the correct type of Christian. Marcus, you know that the uh, when it comes to any idea, the ideas with the most pushback are not necessarily the most correct ideas. Nazi ideology gets a lot of pushback here in the States. Does that make it more truer? I'd say no. The realest Christians, I'm telling you, I've seen it. They get the most attacks. I'm sure they do. Marcus. Because they're a threat to the kingdom of darkness. So just they're a threat to my imaginary enemy. Something to think about, man. Y'all be blessed in Jesus name. Go to www.marcusrogersministries.org. Oh, look, that's a plug. Let's not do that. Instead, why don't you go ahead and go uh, check out my sponsor? Uh, of today's video, uh, Factor 7. In fact, actually, specific, or Factor 75, specifically, you could go and uh, and use my code, Factor SE 10-0-5-0-7. Go to the link in the description below, and you can get up to 60% off your first box from them. Because, well, you decided to plug yourself, so we had to go ahead and plug ourselves. That's how it works. That's how it works. Uh, uh, I should probably also point out that the that that factors a meal service kit. So like, if you need keto meals or vegetarian meals or anything like that, that's what they're for. That's what they're for. But uh, yeah, Marcus, you made you made me plug, you made me plug my sponsor. Thank you. Do you still do the sex shop? Absolutely, I still have DDLG Playground. Anywho. As always, everybody, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think Marcus is uh, he's a bit of a derp here. Very, very outside of his lane when he's talking about Hassan and Ethan, considering that uh, 
the criticisms were about Nick Fuentes, of all people. But, anywho, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, guys. And as always, everybody, insert end of video tagline here.